it's Jane. Jane said, I have a headache. I need to do something that's just, just fun. So I'm gonna use these. Uh, so I've got, they've got all these beautiful girls. Anyway, I'm gonna turn the camera around. Look at that little munchkin. Hello. Tutti. Matatata. Where's the puppy? Oh, he's so cute. He's saying hello to everyone. Oh, pup. Hey, Fable, sit. Sit. Good boy. And shake. Yes. Can you lay down? Lay down. Come on. Lay down. I normally have some. There we go. On your mat. Oh, good boy. Yeah. Do one more. Come on. On your mat. Come on. Hey. I think everyone got to see that. That was so cute. <laughs> okay. Now let's get back to the art. So I'm going to get out my washi tapes and I'm using the largest of the washi tapes from the Bright Girls set. Just flipping through my journal, looking for inspiration and I came across this little sheet of, or pages rather, of just literal leftover paint from swatching out some colors for watercolors just testing watercolors and I thought what if I use the little washi tapes these little thread head girls and turn them into little figures let's see what happens this is about exactly what <laughs> was needed to get me through wanting to do something creative, having, like I said, a little bit of a headache and just, you know, waiting for some Panadol to uh, kick in and help me with that. But that doesn't mean I you know, don't have to do anything. Uh, very often, uh, art helps in so many ways and distracting you from something negative is certainly a incredible benefit of art and especially what I'm going to be doing uh, I'm working in my art journal which is just a private space well it can be I mean I'm showing mine to you but it's a private art space that uh, I can just do whatever I like in there's no expectation I don't have to create a masterpiece this is purely for myself to create for myself because I need to because I'm a creative being and before we move on to creating something out of these little well stickers in effect from the washi tape I've got to show you my little washi tape tower very very easy to put together fits any size washi tape and then you can have your favorite washies right there it just helps me use them find them keep everything organized and they look really nice and now we get to the point of this video <laughs> which is to show you my fantastic fountain pens now if you know me you already know that I love fountain pens. I have the incredible pens, which are a beginner level, entry level fountain pen. Sometimes people are intimidated by fountain pens or they may never have thought of them. And it's my mission on earth, well, one of them, uh, to make sure everybody knows that fountain pens are so awesome. And in addition to the fountain pens, um, I added my fountain pen, and which was the original one. It had, a, still does, has a rainbow finish on the nib. And now I've added in that same clear body the fountain brush, the fountain roller, and a new fountain pen nib in the fine. The original is the extra fine, uh, and the new one is the fine. So they're both fairly fine but oh, there's a lot of variety be, to be had with all of these beautiful things so that's what I'm going to be using to create now before we start I just want to show you uh, on this page this little swatch page I'm covering up the name of it because the thing down the bottom I haven't launched yet oh I will so if you see the name what does it matter um, but all of these lines, all of the drawings, the actual faces are created with the different Funtan pens. So you've got the two different Funtan fine and extra fine fountain, uh, fountain pen tips. You've also got the brush version, which is actual individual hairs, kind of like my mermaid markers, that type of thing. Uh, 
the rollerball I use to write with on a daily basis and you can load any ink into it, any colour. That's what makes them so fun uh, as well as the actual nibs being lovely to draw with, write with, do your lettering with. So uh, let's start playing with them. Now of course you don't have to have these pens to do what I'm going to be showing you. Uh, you can use any pen any pen is a delight these these are just especially delightful that's all so i'm going to start building out these little figures and i'm going to start with the brush pen just giving them some little shoulders that you know will pop out of the hair i'm using my figure technique from the Fabulous Figures book where I use hearts to help construct the figure and also just makes a nice little bustier shape and it's fun to draw especially with a brush pen drawing curves oh so headache be gone let me tell you <laughs> and of course turned into a mermaid I didn't know that was going to happen until it happened uh, but you know why wouldn't a mermaid come floating out on top of some little blue swatches? Now the brush nib in the fountain pen is special because the barrel of the pen is hard. So even though the nib is very similar to the aqua brushes, ink brushes and mermaid markers in my art supply collections, it's different because you can't squeeze it. You can't affect the flow of the ink. You live with the flow of the ink. So you sort of can get into a rhythm of moving to the flow of the ink if you want to keep the lines that you create juicy. I like to keep the lines, oh, I like to get a broken line. I think it shows visual texture and more energy and more movement in a static line now i really need to show you all oh, this fable visiting us he looks like a caterpillar i thought it might be uh, sustainable or workable for him to sit up there with me while i was creating but no he needed it to bite everything i want to show you how to load the pens it's very important of course i probably should have started with this but I wanted to dive straight into the drawing. That's just the way I am. So I'm, I've got one of my little petite potion bottles. You could use any small bottle or any receptacle. Some ink bottles are small enough or big enough rather in the opening for you to dip your pen in. Um, and I've loaded that with some of my Limeade Incredible Ink. Now you can mix colors, of course. That's very fun. Once you've got your ink ready, get the pen ready I've taken the cap off already I've taken the body of the pen off I'm just showing you how the cartridge goes inserts and pulls in and out very very easily it's a friction fit you just need to make sure that it's pushed all the way in so that ink can flow and to load the ink you can either load it straight just into the cartridge so remove it from the pen completely or what I usually do is push the cartridge into the pen so I've got the rollerball tip on this one and load it this way so I'm going to pop the end of the pen in there of course you're going to need enough ink in your little ink well to let the uh, nib be submerged and twist the end of the cartridge and the ink will suck up into the cartridge now a strange thing always happens the first time you do that not much ink is pulled up so what I usually do is unload the ink back into the bottle and then repeat the process twisting the end of the cartridge and pulling that ink up from the bottle and into my pen and then I'm just cleaning off the nib of any excess ink always make sure as soon as you finished with an open bottle of ink that you put the top back on because I don't know how they know that there's no top on there, but you can guarantee if you've got an ink bottle on your desk with no top on it, it will want to fall over. We screw the body back onto the pen and then off you go. Draw, draw, draw. Now, you saw me loading that lime green incredible ink. I already had a dark blue or dark gray ink inside the pen, a little bit left over. 
to clean out a pen you just wash with water and literally draw up water into the cartridge push it back out again you have to repeat that a few times to flush the pen out completely you can remove the cartridge just run some uh, water through it gently under the tap and voila totally clean pen one of the beautiful parts of this type of system is that you can change your ink on the fly because you can empty it back out into the ink bottle uh, and then clean the brush the um, pen out and then load another ink off you go uh, or you can end up like me and have a thousand pens <laughs> with a different color in every pen why not so you can see the difference with the drawings here uh, ignore the drawing itself remember I have a headache um, but you can see the difference in the thickness of the line so the brush pen you can go from very thin to thick because it is a brush nib a real brush nib the rollerball you can't really change the thickness but the way you use a rollerball for sketching like any rollerball ballpoint pen uh, I don't know it has this sort of flow and scribbliness to it that's enchanting to use I just I love it I've swapped over to the rainbow dash edition of the extra fine fountain pens this is a fountain pen tip fountain pens are metal as you can see and they've got a little bit of flex they've got a little bit of bend to them so you can get a variety of line they've also got a particular type of line that's again just it's a lovely thing to draw I mean all pens are great don't get me wrong but I just really love fountain pens to draw with they because they do have that little bit of flex to them you do get that variety of line and you'll hear me saying variety of line variety of line variety of line for me that adds visual texture and as the person doing the drawing it adds extra variety <laughs> of line it just adds that extra it's not even challenge it adds extra interest to me as the artist as the drawer and seeing as I'm drawing for myself in my art journal to make me feel like myself then that's that's the end of the matter that's the whole whole and soul reason for my art supply choices <laughs> soap box pen woman that is me up on the soap box talking about pens so I've got uh, I think I've got very licious uh, was in that uh, that's that dark pink that's on there and then I'm going to do a little bit of sketching up on the top now remember this ink is not going to work on the washi tape washi tapes have a waxy coating so that you can use them like a sticky tape you know they won't all just stick in a big clod it will actually remove from itself and there's very few inks that will work on it my LTQ will work on it you do need to give it time to dry because it's a waxy non pen wanting uh, surface <laughs> but that it doesn't matter uh, that part doesn't matter my paint pens work beautifully on these and I'll show you that later I'm continuing to use that same little heart method um, and then adding different decorations on each of these little mermaids as they go and just experimenting with arm positions and making them more whimsical or you know making them more realistic sounds a bit uh, far-fetched for what we're drawing at the moment but you know like more anatomically correct in the way that arms move uh, this if you're not going if you can't don't feel free to experiment with your art uh, on a piece of paper then ugh, I don't know what to say to you. you might you have to have a little reconsider of uh, <laughs> that you might be a little bit too frightened of the paper and you need to relax and just don't be frightened of the paper it really holds it's your paper your journal um, look I'm talking to myself here as I'm watching myself <laughs> try and draw a mermaid I mean it it's funny because I originally recorded this live 
um, for my Facebook group, which I absolutely adore my Facebook group. Everyone is just the best. And I'm using a Storytime paint pen in Snow White, just uh, that's what that pen there is. And I just, I very often I have absolutely no plan about what I'm going to be doing with the group because that's how comfortable I feel when I'm creating with, with my peeps, with my group. And sometimes I can't draw. I seriously, I can't draw. But I've done this enough. I've been drawing my whole life. And I know that just sometimes <laughs> the ability to draw leaves my body. And I also know that the ability to draw will re-enter my body at some point and to just keep going and to try and just stay in the moment of enjoying the act of creating, the privilege of having the time and the tools and the space in my life uh, that I can sit down and do this for myself um, that's where I like my headspace to be. If the um, talent for drawing leaves my body, if I think of it in any other way uh, other than as that, um, then I could talk myself out of it and just be like, oh, I can't do this today and wander off and do something else and miss the opportunity of connecting with my artistic, my creative being. So I just keep going. I just say to myself, eh, I can't draw in this moment it's just left me just for a minute but it'll come back that's the important part is the second part it will come back it will come back and see just like that there I just I, I did another little white line on there and I felt more in control of my arms <laughs> and of my mermaid's arms now again I'm not saying that this is fabulous artwork or anything of the sort um, what I am saying is that I'm trusting the mess. I'm trusting in my own creative ability to unwind, to give myself an opportunity to have a little fun and draw and create and do something that I love. Oh my goodness, I just looked at the time. I'm going to speed this video up. All I wanted to do was show you how much I love these pens and how lovely all the different tips are and how you can load the ink. And then we went on this whole journey <laughs> of a uh, squadron of mermaids. Well, I did still achieve that though, my goal, but we've gone on a little journey together, haven't we? So we may as well see it right through to the end of the page. But if you did actually want to see the whole of this video, uh, with it in real time and the real time decisions that I'm making about different lines and uh, as I'm creating on the fly, you can join the Jane Davenport Mixed Media Facebook group. Like I said, fabulous group, wonderful, lovely, kind people. We all just like showing our artwork that we've created with my art supplies. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Because there was a whole story that came out about these girls, this, that girl left the group uh, and then they were, there was a bit of a leadership spill um, and this group is the Acoustic Waves. But they're all trying to look demure while they um, decide who the next leader is going to be. I decided that they needed a little bit of shimmer shimmer so I've pulled out some of my fairy dust watercolours that I've made from the Pantastic palette. Very appropriate because mermaid scales. Thank you for, if you've made it this far, for watching this. We start off with washi tape. We've added the fountain pens, which were the actual uh, purpose of this video. I think I showed you, well, at least that I love them and why I love them, how much fun they are. There is Fable, again, to say goodbye. Sorry about the mess on the floor. He just loves to throw everything everywhere. But the best part is that doing this actually got rid of my headache. Sitting along, doing the video, talking about things that I love, creating things that I love. And I just, I love drawing so much. Yeah, so thank you again for watching. You can see everything that I've shown you at janedavenport.com. A lot of the things that I create are exclusive to my website. And we send all over the world every single day. Fable the Pomeranian, <laughs> he wants you to go and create for yourself right now.